Welcome Virgo and thank you for being here today. This is your love message for week commencing Monday the 14th of September through to Sunday the 20th of September 2020. I've already pulled your crowning message and your crowning wisdom message. So let's get straight into those cards. So your first crowning message is the cosmic heart. Devotion, potency, make your life a moving prayer. The second crowning message is deep cellular healing. Arcturus energy, physical and emotional healing. And the third is baby steps, action, follow your intuition before it makes sense. Okay, Virgo, what I feel your crowning message is letting you know is that it's time to connect with your heart. There may be something either in your life or the relationship that you are thinking about or the person that you're thinking about um, that is affecting your heart chakra. Um, and what I feel divine is letting you know is that it's time to really look within and to connect your heart with your soul and really listen to what that song is, is, is singing to you in order to find that peace, um, flow, devote your time to yourself. I feel this is about self-love, self-healing, going within and recognizing what's going on with your heart. What is your soul trying to say to you at this time? Whether you are somebody that meditates, that uh, prays, it's time for you to devote yourself to you, to devote yourself to prayer, to meditation of your heart, connecting with divine because there's something going on in that space that evidently needs some healing with the second card here. Deep cellular healing is reminding us that our body um, knows how to heal itself, both emotionally and physically. Again, this is just indicating that there, there is something going on with you internally that perhaps needs some healing, some attention, some devotion. And then with the final card, baby steps, it's time to take action. Follow your intuition before it makes sense. So Virgo, you may be being pulled to retreat from a situation, to go within, to take that step, to be the leader in your own life, to walk through that portal into a space of devotion, healing, focusing on what your heart is really telling you. Your crowning message, Virgo, the first card is beyond the mind. The second card is unique gifts. And your third card is soul star chakra, merging with divine. I feel that this is absolutely resonating with your crowning message. Here, with beyond the mind, you will see that your heart chakra is connecting with your um, crown chakra here. I feel what this is trying to give you the wisdom is that it's time, whatever's going on, whether it's a relationship or something within your um, life, it's time to go within. And as the saying says, connecting your heart and mind um, together. 
I feel there's something that you really do need to go within and really ask yourself, what is it that is bringing you joy? What is it that you are passionate about? What is it that um, is bringing that love and peace to your, to, to your heart chakra? And once you've identified that, connect that with your mind, with your crown chakra and focus on, um, again, meditation, going within, connecting with um, mother nature, connecting with divine, whether that's prayer meditation, whether that is, you know, going on nature walks. But there is something that you need to connect or unblock so that the flow between the mind and your heart chakra can flow easily. I feel that what this will allow or enable is for you to really understand what your unique gifts are. Again, we've got this heart chakra. So I feel that the wisdom advice here that divine is trying to encourage is by going in, trying to look deep at what's going on within your heart, allowing healing to come through. Take that step of that healing process by connecting your heart, your mind, divine. You may discover some unique um, gifts within yourself. You may be somebody that may have certain quirks or certain behaviours that are just quite unique to you. You know, it, it's not saying that it's negative or, you know, overly positive, but they're just little things that you may do or say or something that you find quite passionate or something that you are drawn to or you're feeling pulled to investigate, to um, see what, what that gift or pulling is, is guiding you towards. The crowning message is take those baby steps. Be the leader of your life. And then with soul star chakra, again, look at the heart spaces in these cards, the portals, divine. This is all about merging with divine, being part of the, the physical realm and the spiritual realm. I feel, Virgo, that um, you are probably extremely unique individuals with some extremely unique gifts and you're being encouraged to look within if there is healing that needs to be done look to go on that journey to know who you are take the steps to heal connect with mother earth connect with divine Merge with divine. Listen to what your soul is singing through your soul's star chakra. It's almost very similar to the cosmic heart. I feel, Virgo, it really is time to spend some time on yourself, for yourself to understand yourself, to know yourself, and you will discover some remarkable, unique gifts that I feel you're being encouraged to explore. Your Virgo card in this particular deck reads, the energy around you is dutiful, hesitant and humble with a discriminating, diligent and painstaking ear. So Virgo, what this tells me is that 
you may be in a position in your life where you're going through a roller coaster or going through the motions of life. Maybe you have a family or maybe you are somebody that is constantly giving and nurturing. I mean, Virgo is a very grounded, nurturing, reliable um, zodiac sign. So you may be somebody that is always putting other people in front of your own needs. This could be in general. It could be in a relationship. And as a result, it's it's chipping away at your soul, at your heart. And what you're being encouraged to do is to really take some time for yourself and to focus on you. Listen to the song of your soul. Connect with divine, connect with mother nature. However you meditate or ground yourself, this is the time to connect your heart and mind. Clear that energy, go through that healing process, take those baby steps. Okay, Virgo, let's get straight into your cards. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, thank you for your crowning message and your crowning wisdom message. Please, can you tell me how does the soulmates of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love for week commencing Monday the 14th of September through to Sunday the 20th of September 2020. What is their current energy spiritually, emotionally, mentally and physically towards Virgo that we're allowed to see for their highest good and for the greater good of all? As above, so below and all around. Thank you. Okay, Virgo. My angels and spirit, thank you. Okay, we have the Seven of Swords. We have the Four of Cups. is your love message for the collective of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, what would you like, thank you, Seven of Pentacles, thank you, oh, that's too many that's come out. We just need two, please. Two more cards for the love message. Oh, there we go. Page of Pentacles. And one more. Thank you. And the Three of Wands. Okay. Okay, Virgo, I feel with the um, cards that come out in answer to the question about how your soulmate is feeling about you, I feel with the Seven of Swords, there is some sort of lie or deceit, something quite shady in the background that's going on. Now, it could be that um, they may not be telling you how they're feeling about you. Um... So it may not be, you know, um, a lie that is a negative. It could be, you know, they may be fearful of speaking the truth about how they feel. There could be poor communication as well. The communication between yourself and the person that you're thinking about um, isn't too great. However, with the Four of Cups, 
Um, I do feel that they are, that they, I almost feel like, I almost feel like they are thinking about communication. They're focused on you. There's something within their life that um, they're walking away from or it's not serving them. But it's interesting, and that's the reason why I kind of hesitated slightly, because they're thinking about you quite heavily, but there's something then they're not telling you. So I'm not sure whether or not they want to speak to you about how they're feeling. Um, and that is what is perhaps coming through as a little bit shady. But as we clarify, we'll, fi we'll find out. But let's move on with the Seven of Pentacles. They feel that the seeds of this relationship has been planted. It has grown and this is now the time to harvest. Um, I believe with the Soul Star Chakra, one of the things that it talks about is seasons, you know, a time for planting, a time for harvesting. And it's interesting that the Seven of Pentacles has come forward. They know that the seeds in this relationship um, are solid, have grown, the time and effort has been has been put in and if you look at this particular picture of your card Virgo this is all about planting here and harvesting so it's quite interesting for some reason I seem to be picking up quite strongly about every season has a purpose and that might be why there's so much focus on your heart chakra. Because there is something within this connection that isn't being spoken, that's being kept hidden. They know that the work and the effort has been put into this connection and it is ready to be harvested. They are thinking very heavily about you. They are coming in with the Page of Pentacles with messages of um, discussion, serious conversations. This is luck. This is solid. And with the Three of Wands, they're waiting. They are waiting, I feel, for the right opportunity to come in and harvest what has been planted. It may be, Virgo, that Divine is saying that it's going to take some baby steps. They may have some work to do with their heart chakra space. They may be connecting with what they feel in their heart, in their soul. Is this connection with you? And that's why they want to have this serious discussion, a solid discussion. But it looks like they're waiting for the right time. Thank you. So to clarify, we have the Four of Swords. Can we see that okay? The Four of Swords. Okay, let's just shift this down slightly. And the King of Cups. The Four of Swords and the King of Cups. So again, this is letting us know that something's gone on there may be poor communication they may be keeping something from you but i feel that it isn't bad 
or negative or a third party situation, I almost feel like they're in a bit of a quandary about what's going on in their heart with this connection. They're coming in as the King of Cups. So somebody that does want to offer this unspoken emotion, but they're, they're, not, they're not talking about it or they're keeping it from you and they're trying to put, a, put that lack of communication or that poor communication to one side, almost, you know, quieting the mind um, because there could be a lot that's going, and that also connects with beyond the mind because the beyond the mind is connecting obviously your heart and your mind with divine, listening to that soul song. What is your soul really calling you, encouraging you to um, to do, to what path that's going to open up your unique gifts to allow healing to come in. So with the Four of Swords, um, letting us know that if there is fear, if there is poor communication to do with how they are feeling about you, they are trying to put that behind them to, you know, stop overanalyzing. Thank you. Next, we have the Ten of Wands. Yeah, this is burdensome for them. King of Pentacles. Yeah, they're thinking about this emotion that they have for you. This is what I was saying. I feel that there's something within their heart space that is really connected with you, Virgo. And they are unsure whether to communicate with you. They have so much love for you. They do want to have um, serious conversation. With the King of Pentacles, it's going to be slow and steady. It's not going to be something that is quick. How they're feeling, you being on their mind constantly is burdensome for them. They have all of this love for you, but they're not speaking it. And it's almost like they're trying to put it behind them. Rest the monkey mind, you know, the overanalyzing, trying to put behind them the poor communication because they're waiting for the right opportunity to speak, to communicate with you. It's going to be slow and steady. With the page of pentacles coming out again, this feels very much a conversation around the heart space with the green here. And with the seven of pentacles, the vision that they see within this connection, the abundance, the stability. They want to have that conversation with you. So there's a lot of pentacles here, which is, is letting me know that the connection that they have with you is something that is playing on their mind for sure. They don't quite know almost how to deal with the emotion that they had for you. They're thinking about you. They're trying to put what doesn't serve them behind them. It's burdening them in some way. And they may be trying to put that burden down to come in slowly and steady, wanting serious conversations, 
face-to-face -face conversations and it's all to do with the heart chakra. It's all to do with the love that's in their heart because they do see the abundance, the seeds that have been planted that are now ready to be harvested. Thank you. Yeah, your next card, judgment. This is reconciliation. They want to take the action and reconcile with you. So whether or not you've had some challenges in the relationship or um, they recognise how deep this connection is with you. I mean, you could be just touching the heart chakra space and it's something that is um that's kind of put them out of whack a little bit it's burdensome and they want to put it down put down that burden but they do know that the connection is abundant the work has been put in the harvesting has been put in but they're hesitant they're hesitant but they want to put this right. They want to put this situation right with you, Virgo. Thank you. Yeah. Then we've got the Two of Swords, I thought as much. They're at a crossroads. They are at a crossroads. Even though they do want to reconcile, they want to fix the situation, they may recognise that you are somebody that um, they're connecting very deeply at a heart level, a soul level. And that's why they want to reconcile. They're, they're being woken up to this connection. Yeah, look at that. The six of the six of cups was the second card out. This is a deep soul connection. They are reminiscing about how strong this connection is. They are recognizing that um, you may have lived many past lives with each other, but that I feel is what is resulting in poor communication whatever lie or deceit that is th this particular card is trying to show us and that's what I was saying earlier in the reading it's because they recognize how deep this connection is which is why they want to have a serious conversation the king of pentacles the page of pentacles the page of pentacles it's going to be slow and steady, Virgo, because they are protecting their heart and they're waiting for the right time. You guys with the Six of Cups may have um, been married in past lives. Thank you. Ace of Wands, wow. They have a lot of passion for you, um, Virgo. So with the Ace of Wands, the King of Cups, not only is there this unconditional love, it may be unspoken, but also on a physical level, um, you know, there's victory there. They, they find you extremely attractive. And I feel with the Queen of Cups, whether you're male or female, I feel that this is you. Um, they are waiting for the right opportunity to speak to you over um, the victory, the passion, the connection, past life connections with the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups, which is a matching pair. That tells me that they know exactly how you feel about them. And there could be something that's gone on, Virgo, that they know has left you probably a little broken hearted. So either you or the person that you're thinking about needs to take some time to retreat, I feel, um, to get to grips with actually how deep 
this connection is. It is going to take baby steps, you know, the king of pentacles, the page of pentacles coming out twice is all about slow and steady, but it is firm, it's solid. So don't rush straight into, you know, big heart to heart conversations. Understand what's going on in your heart. Maybe they need to understand what's going on with their heart. But there's something about you, Virgo, that is pulling at their heartstrings. And that might be um, where you retreating and focusing on yourself will allow you to explore some un unique gifts of yourself. But also it may be they need to go within to explore the unique gift of you in their life. Okay, Virgo, let's get some advice for you. Thank you. Inner alchemy, wow. Inner alchemy is achieved when you react, when you react to fear with love. All of this is about going within and with inner alchemy, I feel this is letting you know that there is some balance within yourself that you need to focus on. And if you are fearing that all the hard work that has gone into this connection is falling apart, deal with it with love self-love for yourself but also love for the other person because it feels like they're going through a bit of awakening they do love you they are solid but i feel that they're waiting for the right time and these conversations of a serious nature um possibly how you both feel towards each other how integral you are to each other's lives. Maybe those are the conversations that are coming up. But with inner alchemy, um, that balance will come about if you react to any fear that you may be experiencing with love. Thank you. Reflection. Wow. Okay, see all aspects of yourself through the reflection of the one who mirrors your hidden self. So once again, reflection, the cosmic heart, deep cellular healing, baby steps, beyond the mind, unique gifts, soul, soul star chakra. These are all elements about reflecting within yourself. Um, looking into what is going on within that uh, heart chakra space. What is it reflecting? What is it trying to let you know? What is your soul's song? What is being reflected back at you, Virgo, within this connection? That's what I feel the advice is go within. A lot of this is about going within for yourself, Virgo. But with, with regards to this, this soul connection, this person that you're thinking about, there is love there. They have honourable intentions towards you. I just feel that they, they probably didn't expect to feel the depth of this connection that they do. The work has been put in everything's ready for harvesting but for some reason they are just trying to quiet the monkey mind the over analyzing choice so your final advice card by staying conscious in your thoughts you guide your journey in the direction of choice so the baby steps be the leader don't be the follower. Go down the path that is least travelled. Go within 
focus on self-love, balance out that inner alchemy within, try and understand what is being reflected back at you, what is going on within your crown chakra, your heart chakra that's trying to communicate to you, what is this song that your soul is trying to sing to your heart? Know that the body physically, emotionally will heal. Do you need to make that choice for self-love, for self-healing and allow this person that you're thinking about to come to you slow and steady and they will because they have this love for you, because, there we go, the Six of Cups, because they recognise that this is a deep soul connection and that you have lived past lives together. The choice is yours, Virgo. Okay. Virgo, that is your love message for week commencing Monday the 14th through to Sunday the 20th of September. I hope um, this resonated with you. If it did, please click the subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out your sun, moon, rising and Venus signs to get a broader perspective of this reading. Otherwise, I shall see you next week. And for now, I'm just sending you loads and loads of love, peace and light. Take care, Virgo. Bye bye.